I think God is revealing a lot, but it's all about relationship and God's interested in relationship. He hasn't designed you for work. He's, he has created you as a child, as a son for relationship with him as a father. And that's the key. That is what he is interested in more than anything else. Out of that relationship, a father and son may well share things. They may well do things together. They may well, the son may well desire to do the things that are on the father's heart. And therefore, we're co-heirs, we're co-creators with him. But it's a relational process. We, we engage heart to heart, mind to mind, face to face. We look into his eyes. We feel and sense uh, his love. And we work together. And we don't work for God. We engage with him. So I, I agree with you. I don't really like the word design in the sense that we are designed for a specific purpose. You know, the, the God's desire is relationship. And out of the relationship, he has made us uniquely and we're wonderfully made. Of course, we do have different characteristics than other people and we may have redemptive gift purposes. And we may have, we do have a destiny, which is aligned to the Father's heart in sonship. We tend and people tend to think and try and find what's my destiny. I need to know what I'm supposed to do, because that leads back into that. Well, I've got to get it right. If I fail, then there'll be consequences. And, you know, it's all that negative view about God. God is not looking like that way. God's more interested in being with us and having a relationship with us than the practical things that need to be done. Now, within a kingdom and God has a kingdom, there are roles within the kingdom to fulfill purposes within that kingdom. And of course, there's no end to the increase of his government and peace. And we're part of that kingdom. We're part of that process. But it's always a sons. It's never as servants. It's never as stewards. It's never as slaves. It's sons. God wants us to come into sonship and in sonship, find the things that bring fulfillment and bring uh, purpose to our lives in a sense rather than being driven to do something for a reward or being induced to do something because we're afraid of getting it wrong and we need to get it per perfectly right so that's really what god is more interested in he's more interested to engage us relationally and what flows out of that relationship it will be the same that flows out of the relationship with father son and spirit they have different roles they have different functions within that relationship but there's just a union and a oneness and that's what god wants us to come into so i i don't really think that it's a mindset a thought you need to overcome i just think enjoy the relationship and yeah, you know, when things sort of don't feel right then probably they aren't right and in a sense you know, God has a purpose for us, which is relationship. And out of relationship comes sharing and doing things together as a father and a son do. So I'd encourage you just to focus again back onto the relationship. Enjoy the relationship and don't get sort of caught up on the doing. Enjoy the being and everything will flow from that place.